Hello and welcome to this new osteoporosis bar workout. This workout is great for everyone, beginners, seniors, and of course those suffering with osteoporosis. So all that means is that there are there's no bending, twisting, rounding of the spine. And then of course we're gonna use light weights to build the bone density and work on some toning those muscles. Long lean muscles, no dancer experience required, and all moves will be standing today. So you will need a pair of light dumbbells. I'm using three pounds and also a chair or maybe countertop to serve as our bar or base of support. We will get started with a warm up. So coming to a first position and all that means is heels are together, toes are apart. Tuck that pelvis so we maintain that neutral spine and roll the shoulders down and back. Knees are straight and we are lifting from the crown of our head. Plie as we take a deep breath, arms come up, out to the side as we exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. Let's do two more like this. Excellent, arms out to the side, and let's take a step touch and then we're gonna crisscross those arms. So shoulders are pressed down and back, opening the chest, warming up the shoulders as well. A little bend in those knees and then grow tall. Four more like this. Last two, last one. Coming to our first position again, we're simply gonna take our left leg out to the side as our left arm also comes out to the side and bring it back in. Little bend in that standing leg. Up and out, bring it back in. Let's do one more, reach. Switching other side, up and in. So one bent knee, one straight knee. Now let's alternate one and one. Reach and extend. Four more like this. Nice job, turn those toes back facing me. Arms come up to the ceiling, reaching nice and high. Again, tuck that pelvis, high knees here. And then let's bring the arms down to meet the knees. Good, hold it here. And now we're simply gonna keep those high knees, but turning the legs out to the side. So the inside of your ankle is coming towards the ceiling, opening up from the hips. Arms are coming to the sides as well. Warm it up. Hold here for four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Hands on the hips, give me a staggered stance. Right foot in front of left, and I simply want you to switch your weight Come forward, point back, switch, point front. Nice parallel position. Let's take our opposite arm, reaches up, reaches back, lift. So again, we're simply bending and straightening the legs as we shift the weight forward and back. Reach, pull it back. Grow tall. All right, keeping this move, but now we're turning out the legs. So again, think about the inside of that ankle, both feet coming up. Four more like this, then we switch sides. Last two. And one, starting with that other side, we're parallel at first, hips are square, forward, back, arm up, reach, pull it back, really point that toe, 
shifting all that weight on the front leg and on the back leg. All right, same thing, we turn it out now. Knees coming more to the sides or the corners. Final four, three, two, and one. That was our warm up. Shake it out. Grab your chair or your base of support. We're going to start with some bends and heel lifts or plies and releves. Heels together in a first position, again, toes apart. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze your buns together. Again, growing tall. Core is engaged, drawing the ribs together. Tummy is nice and firm. We simply bend down and push up. Think about pushing up from the heels. Little bend, a little lift. Squeeze those glutes, bend and lift. Now we lift the heels for four, three, two, and one. Let's put that together, one and one. One plie, one lift, one plie, one lift. Spine is straight, so we're never rounding. We're growing taller every time. One more like this. Excellent job, same thing, but widening those legs. So coming to a wide second position, again, heels facing each other, toes to the corners. We bend down, press through the heels, come up. Knees out to the side. Only go as low as you are comfortable. Working different parts of those muscles, this time the inner thigh. One more. Let's lift those heels. One more. Combo, here we go. Down, lift, lift, and lower. Make sure you're breathing. Core is engaged, shoulders down and back. One more like this. Excellent, let's toe heel in. Last set in this series. Really close parallel position. So you really wanna squeeze those inner thighs together. Again, little pelvic tuck, squeezing the glutes. We're simply gonna bend and lift here. So it's kind of like a baby squat, but we're not really hinging forward. I want you to feel this time in the fronts of your legs, your quads. Now we lift the heels. For four, three, two, and one. Now challenge here on our combination is to keep the heels lifted as we bend. Give it a try. So we lift, lower, lift, then put the heels down. Lift, lower, squeezing those knees together. Lift, we bend. All the way up, lower the heels. One more, lift. And lower. Nice job. Shake that out. Okay, moving on to more thighs and our glutes. I'm just going to angle here. Better view for you guys. Both hands securely on the chair. And we're going to start with the leg pointed forward. Again, hold up, tuck the hips. We're going to circle the leg all the way to the back. Leg lift and down, pointed toe. We circle front, circle back, lift and lower. I'm keeping my big toe on the floor. Lift and lower. Back leg doesn't have to come too high. I want you to use that glute. Forward, back, lift and lower. I'm slightly hinged forward. And again, engaging the core so we're not getting any tension in that lower back. Last one like this. Excellent. All right, now bringing the foot to the knee in a passe, we extend, try to straighten that leg, give me a little lift, and then we put it down. So we bring it up, extend, little lift, 
and down. Again, using that quad to lift the leg. You might feel it a little bit in your hip flexor too. And we're engaging our core. We're really feeling it there as well. Three more like this. Little lift, extend, little lift, lower. Last one. Okay, shake it out. I know you're feeling it, that standing leg a little bit too. Okay, side leg lifts are next, so extend the leg out to the side. Standing leg has a small bend in it. We lift it up to the side. We come an inch forward, an inch back, and then lower down. So we lift, forward, back, and lower. Lift, forward, back, and lower. Torso's upright. Little lift, little swoop, swoop, and lower. We're trying to keep it high. It doesn't have to be parallel to the floor or anything. I really want you to feel it in that hip. Last one. And lower. Shake that out. Let's do those same three exercises on the other leg. All right, starting with our half circles and the back leg lift. Let's extend the leg forward, point it nice and firm. Check that posture, here we go. We circle back, we lift, down, circle forward, back, lift. Small bend in that standing leg. That's just gonna support and protect that knee joint. Three more like this. You don't have to point your toe so hard that it cramps up. Just lengthening that leg. Okay, next coming to the passe. Extend, little lift, and down. Bring that foot up to the knee and straighten it. Little lift and down. Everything on this one is parallel, meaning we're not in a turned out position. Hips are square. You can move your hand if you want to have a balance check. One more. Excellent. Coming to those side leg lifts. Shake out that hip if you need to. All right, leg extends to the side, point the toe. Side lift, we come front. Little back and lower. Lift, little front, little back, lower, up. Really getting deep into that muscle. I know that standing hip is screaming at you. Mine is. It goes away, I promise, and we're gonna stretch it out. Last one. And lower, whew. All right, come behind that chair. A little bend in those knees, and again, just stick that hip out to the side. Quick stretch. We have one more set of three moves to do on each leg before we move on to our upper body. So we're just gonna shake that out. And maybe a quick stretch of the back of the legs, a downward dog, dropping that chest, shifting the hips back. Give me a big inhale. Exhale. Got it. A little shake if you need to. Okay. Working on the glutes again, facing our chair back to that leg. We're gonna cross that leg using the inner thigh, crossing that leg as much as you can behind the other. So your thighs are squeezed together, crossing the midline of the body, 
pointing the toe, toe is tapping the floor, and then we do a leg lift to the corner. So not to the side, not back, but to the actual corner, 45 degrees. So tap side, lift corner. Tap side, lift corner. Squeeze your thighs, lift, squeeze, lift. Again, a little bend in that standing knee. Core is engaged, shoulders down and back. Good, one more. And left, okay. Tall position, lift that leg. Knee is bent at a 90 degree angle. We're gonna lift, then we come out to the side and lift, opening from the hip. Little lift, little lift. So it's like a little dip, swoop in the middle. Again, feeling it in the hip flexor, in the core, great for the lower abs. Little lift little lift keeping that knee again open let's go three two and one last move in this series for this leg you're gonna bend your same working leg we bend both knees this time we're gonna try to cross the knee behind the other one and then we lift directly out to the side trying to keep it nice and high maybe parallel to the ground so we bend and cross, side left, bend and cross, side left, bend both knees, left. Good, squeeze those thighs, squeeze and left. Just three, two, and last one. Nice job, shake that out. All right, we're almost there, guys. Stay with me. Other leg, starting with our cross. Crossing behind, straight leg, little bend in the standing leg. We lift to the back corner. Cross, lift, cross, lift. Pull that tummy in. Just for four. two last one here all right bring that leg forward standing nice and tall 90 degrees we lift up we lift side up and side find a little fluid pattern here lift and lift for three two last one Last move, here we go. Picking that leg up, we bend both knees. Squeeze the thighs together. Try to get that knee behind the other one. It's okay if it doesn't. We lift out to the side and we bend and lift. Squeeze the thighs, lift to the side. Excellent, for four. Squeeze harder, two, last one shake it out nice job while we're here let's do a quick figure four stretch crossing the ankle above the knee or at the other ankle and let's sit back oh feel that beautiful hip stretch allow that hip to release big deep breath in exhale and let's do the other side, crossing at the ankle or above the knee. And we sit back. Make sure you have a proud chest that you're not rounding your back. Big deep breath in. Exhale and release. Keep your chair nearby and let's grab our hand weights. Okay, feet are hip width apart. Toes facing directly forward. Palms facing in. We have a hammer curl. We press it up to the ceiling, flip the wrist and press it down. Hammer curl, lift, flip and press down. So three part move here.
halfway there, we just have four more. Flip, control the descent. Last two. Flip, excellent job. Next, we are just doing a lateral raise. Palms down, arms going out to the side, lowering them back down. Now keep the shoulders down and back. Don't let them creep up. If you'd like an extra challenge with this side raise, you can curtsy back, come back to center. Again, it's just a bonus. I'm gonna throw a few bonus moves at you here if you want more of a challenge or want some more leg work. If you're up for it, if not, no big deal, you do you. Two more like this. Back to center, shake it out. Palms are up, elbows are in. Reach forward, then pull those elbows back. Forward and back. Now I want you to switch palms down like a punch forward, pull back, palms up. Punch forward. So we've got two and two. Forward, back, forward, and back. Punch forward, flip, flip back, punch forward, flip back. A few more times. Forward, squeeze those elbows back. Flip and punch, flip and punch. One more time, palms up. And palms down. Nice job. Coming with, back to our chair, with one weight. Holding onto the chair with one hand, we're gonna come to kind of a staggered stance or a lunge position here. Hinging forward with a straight spine, core is engaged, little bend in the elbow. We're gonna have the, like about a 90 degree, we're gonna have a bent elbow fly. So just like that, just four times, three, and four, shift your weight to that front foot, keeping the leg extended behind you, straight knee, then we're gonna bend it with a hamstring curl. Two, three, four. Let's do a combination. So we have one bent arm fly, one ham curl. Up. You can always lose a hamstring curl you're having trouble keeping the position. Everything's slow and controlled. If you've got a little shake, that's great. Just say embrace the shake. One more. Nice job. Let's do the same thing. Other side. Lunge forward. Bent elbow, we start with just the bent arm flies for four, three, two, one. Shift your weight to the front leg. If it's not there already, we bend, extend, bend, extend. Point that toe, heel comes towards the bum, then lengthen, making that leg even longer. Combination, one fly. One curl. Are you breathing? Just two more. Nice work. Let's keep our one weight and take it all the way over our heads. Feet are together. Tricep press here, overhead. Try to keep the elbows nice and close, parallel to each other. All right, bonus challenge here. Pop that right leg, and you can do a little mini leg lift or kick, toe tap, as we do that tricep. So a little straighten, bend the knee, Tap the toe. For four, three, 
to last one stay here simply switch legs if you're doing the legs forward tap okay but don't lose sight of what's going on up top right we're growing taller strengthening that tricep elbows together for four three two one excellent one more move guys Move this back over here out of my way coming to a nice wide second position again so heels are even wider than our hips one weight we're going to start with it up top and we're simply going to bring it down switching the weight switching the weight now the bonus move here as most of you probably guessed is to take a big grand plie down and lift again totally optional if you're taking this plie, can you continuing to work on those inner thighs and glutes? Your weight is in the heels. Hold it up top. Now let's switch directions. Down and up. This is the last thing before we stretch. Slow and controlled. Knees come back. Four. Three two and one beautiful job put your weights away we are done and let's get ready to stretch okay let's stretch that out well deserved holding on to your chair let's go ahead and flex one foot toe to the ceiling heel on the ground hand on the hip hinging over from the waist with a flat back Sticking your hips out to the back just till you feel that beautiful stretch in the back of your leg. Knee is mostly straight or all the way straight. Hold here. Inhale. Exhale. Lift the chest. Take that same leg and we're going to step all the way back. Pressing the heel down to the ground, bending that front knee straightening the back knee straightening out stretching the calf muscle it's okay if your heel doesn't touch the floor we hold here breathing and then a little tuck in those hips feeling a nice stretch in the front and that hip flexor and then come all the way forward. And if you're able to, we're going to grab that ankle or maybe grab your pant leg or your sock, whatever you can get a hold of. Knees are matching, lifting nice and tall, heel coming towards the bum. Stretching out the front of the leg. Deep breaths. And shake it out okay same thing other side hamstring stretch first heel on the floor toe to the ceiling chest coming over that leg oh that feels great shift those hips back trying to straighten that knee deep breath in exhale lift the chest Stepping back with that leg, bending the front knee, straightening the back knee. Heel is coming towards the floor. Hold here, allowing that muscle to release. And then a little pelvic tuck forward. Tighten the core. It's like you're squeezing your glutes together. And we pop forward into our hamstring excuse me, quad stretch, posing muscle of the hamstring. Important to get both sides. Match those knees together if you can. Heel towards the bum. And let's grow an inch, lift even taller. And release it out. All right, feet coming underneath those hips. Simply want you to bend one leg, straighten the other and stick that hip out to the side. 
getting a nice stretch in the hip into the glute. We worked that one really hard today. Come to the other side, bend. Hip is going to the leg, the side with the straight leg. One more time each side. Stick that hip out. And out. I know it looks funny, but it's a good one. All right, holding on to your chair. If you need it, let's roll those ankles one direction. And reverse. Extend the leg forward, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex one more time. Replace that leg. Same thing, other side. Nice big ankle circle, as big as you can. And reverse. Hold it here, we point, flex. Two more. And put that leg back down. All right, nice wide stance here. Toes are kind of to the corners. Lunge over to the side, bending one knee, straightening the other. Nice straight spine. I want you to feel a stretch in that inner thigh there. Good. The further you shift that hip to the side, the deeper that stretch is going to be. And we come back up. And then we're going to turn our torso towards the other leg and simply hinge forward. Straight spine, getting another stretch in that hamstring. Just coming at it from another angle. up and then we lunge other side extend that leg out feeling that stretch in that inner thigh deep breath and come on back up we turn the torso hinging over Good. keeping that neck in line with the spine inhale Exhale, we come back up. Feet coming together. Check that posture, grow nice and tall. Roll the shoulders down and back. Inhale, arms reach towards the ceiling. Give me a pelvic tuck, squeeze the glutes, grow one more inch, and then the arms come down and back. Let's do that again. Inhale, exhale. Grow an inch, engage the core, tuck the pelvis, stretching out that lower back, release the arms, press them down to the sides, back and around. Again, inhale, reach up, pelvic tuck, and arms down. One more time. Very nice. Flex the arms, palms towards me, Straightening those elbows. And then we're going to reach them all the way to the ceiling, nice and high again. And then crisscross behind you, fingers towards the opposite shoulder. Inhale. Exhale, reach up. And then switch one more time, crossing the other hand over. Release it down, arms out to the side. Rotate those shoulders, palms back and palms up and palms back and up one more time. Flip to the back, flip them up, give yourself a big hug, walk those fingers back, drop the shoulders, inhale, exhale, stretching out that upper back, open up again, inhale. Cross the other arm on top this time. Walk those fingers back. Big hug. Inhale. And exhale. Release those arms. Big inhale. Arms come up. And exhale down. I hope you feel amazing. I know you do. Let me know how you liked this video. I love to hear you guys. Always respond to you in the comments. Thanks for joining me. And we'll see you next time.